this is my new start in the tool chest I got for Christmas. I know Christmas was a few months ago, but before you can ask yourself, oh, what's in the box? Let's have a look. The first accessory I bought was this cheap magnetic bit holder you can get from Harbour Freight or in my case Premier in the UK. That was before the border issue. It is handy and works just fine under my lid. Next thing is this Bosch labeled wooden box. Let me show you what's inside. It is a vintage Mac stand in mint condition. It has even the original paperwork inside. Like the manual. This warning not to open the magnetic system. And the quick guide. This is the original Rambold indicator that comes with it. It has 10 mm of travel and is made in Germany as the rest of this tool is. They even put a picture inside just to show us how to store it properly. Just a good old stable Mac stand. Let's put it back. Next to it is a Mitutoyo indicator. Nothing fancy, but always good to have. A big 21mm size drill bit. Some dividers for the thrust I show you soon, keys for the box and a straight edge with double O tolerance in a faux leather pouch. Okay, let's look inside the first drawer. The insert is made out of foam core. Mitotoyo, a cheap knockoff and the Solex square that has some light rust on it. I use actually most part for woodworking. It comes in handy for smaller parts. In this not so pretty and ganked up pouch is something really neat. It is an old Shore A meter. My thumb with a band-aid on has 45 Shore. It is normally meant for gasket material. And of course, like anybody else, I've got a cheap Chinese Mac stand. Well, at least the label says it is from a German brand and it is somewhat reputable. Here are some filler gauges. This one is from Hartset and this from China. I have some Ghidorah Red toothpicks. They are not the best, but totally sufficient for poking O-rings. And this neat fella needs a close-up. Boom! A NSK micrometer with the original manual and all. NSK is an almost forgotten brand. Their tools are absolutely comparable with Mitotoyo quality bus. I really dig them. And I laugh how they use the mechanical solution for a digital readout so my battery won't run out. I'm sorry for the reflection. The readout reads 0.00 in the zero position. And if not, I can always recalibrate the zero point with the included C spanner and Allen key. Alright, next drawer. And here are the troughs the dividers are for. These are listed troughs. They are the go-to troughs for sorting drills and tooling here in Germany. 
I used some foam core to build the sliding insert for more storage. I also lined the troughs with foam core with a space on the side for these dandy drill bits. Those are 0.216 mm micro drills made by TTEX or you call them Günther. Look how minute they are. I really love those. They are high quality and um, the cobalt drills, they, they really work well. And I made this handy tray out of the offcats. And again, foam core for the win. Thanks to Adam Savage for the inspiration on using foam core for draw dividers. I know, the last draw doesn't look like much, but I guarantee it is by far the most expensive one. But let's get these pin punches quickly out of the way. They're cheap, I don't need fancy ones, and well, they are there when needed. And right under them is my personal highlight of this tool chest. A tap and die set by Lienich in this great grey metal case. Sadly, all taps and dies look the same on camera. You can only appreciate its quality by using it. And I must say, these are one of the best taps and dies I've used so far. I've used cheaper ones before, but after buying these, there's no way I would settle for less. But they come with a hefty price tag. A set like this will set you back around 400 euro or 465 USD right now. But like all my fancier tools in this chest, I've scored them in mint condition for less than half on the second hand market. Like these vert step drills. The spiral really makes a difference in cut quality, especially when using in stainless. That's what I bought them for. And this Göring tap and drill set also needs a closer look. These taps are made specifically for blind holes. And just have a look on how beautiful they are. This is by far my most used tap recently, and there is hardly anywhere noticeable. Yeah, Titex, Linich, Göring. I tried to buy nothing else at this point. Yeah, and this thing is just a cheap conical drill. I use them to enlarge the holes of lens boards for my large format camera. I may make a video on this in the future. And the last thing in here is this tray out of foam core that holds spare tabs and dies or odd sizes I need at once. Yeah. And that's it folks. So. What's my verdict? Well, Stahlwille is of course a reputable brand. Only thing that bothers, I should've gotten four drawers, as tools behave like noble gas and fill every space evenly and thus quicker than you can imagine. The sliders are great, they run smoothly, the handles seem sturdy, all in all, it is a great chest.